reports in our nonstop news that fire on the northwest side leaves multiple people, including children, in the hospital. Now, firefighters were quick to put out the flame. CBS 2's Assault Rezai is live at the scene this morning. And Saul, you're learning more about what witnesses saw during the very large fire response. Yeah, that's right. We just talked to a neighbor who lives directly from uh, the house, directly across the street from the house where this happened. He told me he watched as fire crews showed up here. Take a look at this house right now, guys. You can see that the front window, the side windows are blown out, and it appears most of the damage is on the inside of the house. But you can definitely see that uh, the flames were so bad. At one point, we heard from a neighbor that he said he was afraid that the flames were going to jump over to his roof. I want to show you video of the scene that that we have from yesterday that shows at least five ambulances, a huge fire response just after nine o'clock last night. Flames quickly put out, but we know that three children in total, two girls and one boy, all under the ages of seven and their 34 year old mother were inside of the home at the time of the fire. They were taken to the hospital, all suffering from smoke inhalation. We're told some of them in critical condition. This is in the 2500 block of North Rutherford. I talked to that neighbor directly across the street he told me what he saw in those moments that firefighters were bringing the victims out to safety. Take a listen. I did see what it appeared to be an adult um, kind of being resuscitated. Um, it seemed like the victim had burns on the body um, and it did not look like they were in uh, good condition. And uh, we did also hear from a neighbor that the father of uh, the victims and the husband is possibly a firefighter. We're still working to confirm more details on this this morning. We do know that Chicago police are still stationed here this morning. They say this house is still a hazard and that they're just here as a precaution. Right now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. I'm live on the northwest side. I'm Salvador CBS 2 News.